I haven't left this mountain top and I think it's I think it's been three days three days of just staring out yonder into the distance of what could have been three days without Strasbourg High Rum. I did only drink three bottles in total, but it was enough. Enough to make up for a lifetime. I can't even say these hands are mine anymore. What have these hands even done? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'll continue to stare. Or maybe it's time maybe we stand up on our own two feet. See where we go from here. <laughs> Figure out what needs to be done. You know. Leave this mountain. I'm pretty sure that's rifted, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just trying in my head to figure out what hole this is. I'm pretty that is Riften, right? I don't know. It doesn't matter anyway. It's a forgotten memory. Riften, Winterhold, Bleak Falls Barrow, they're all the same. <laughs> they're they're all the same. I guess we can't stay around any longer. Maybe we don't need room to to go ahead. You know, there's probably people out here that can help, but What do you want? How are you not dying in these freezing cold temperatures? This makes absolute sense. Let me do a superhero landing. Yeah. And then I do a crouch to impact it more. What have you made? What's inside? Nothing. Why did you come up here with just a ladle in a pot? <laughs> what have you achieved? Seriously, how are you not dying by these temperatures? I don't understand this. And you're still wearing the loincloth, man. This is so absolutely not awkward whatsoever. I'm too used to this furry man. Nice thighs, bro. I guess I just jog my way. Leave him be. He's not... He's still staring out into the distance. No, wait. He's decided to cut. Oh, I forgot. No, he's running. Oh, God. <laughs> Why is he coming? Antler. Yeah, that's right. You don't come back. You follow them. Deers. No? <laughs> He's stuck in the log. Uh, I said I'd come to Bleakwood Basin. This is my this is my tranquility spot. This is where I come for everything. To see what happens. To see what the goings on are. Sometimes a mammoth falls from the sky, sometimes it doesn't. I feel like checking this chest. It just refills randomly for no reason. This rock has become transparent for some reason. Rock? No, I'm still running into it. It's just changed. I just want to check the loot. You can keep charging forward. What are these? Whoa. This doesn't seem like I've seen them before. They're definitely not modded. There's no way these are modded. Value 100,000 gold. There's absolute What? It's titled One-Handed. The Vampire's Reaver, also 100,000 gold. I mean, we have to take both. See, this is what happens when you play. You come across a giant's camp and you just find two big-ass giant vampire swords called the Vampire's Reaver and then the Vampire's Reaver One-Handed. They look really big, though. I have to admit, let's try them out on this this deer. I shall unsheat this master weapon. Whoa, look at this thing. Jesus Christ, this is bulky. <laughs> what the hell? That looks so not sharp at all. Or maybe it is. No, it kind of does, I guess. Oh, there's a giant chasing them as well. Well, you know what, man? Only one person can play this game. I'll let him be. He can do what he needs to do. Apparently, this is one-handed. I'm not seeing how this is one-handed. This looks like something Ron Jeremy would give to his wife. This is the biggest one-handed, not two-handed sword I have ever seen in my life. Look at me travel along this thing. Seriously, look how goddamn big it is. Look at this. I love that red crystal design in the center, though, or glass, whatever it is. I mean, to be fair, this is the two-handed one, which is like, got much bigger girt. Much bigger girt. Look at this thing. It's wide. The top of it's bigger. You could- this is literally like nearly the same size as me. This is- this is absolutely the biggest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I've ever wanted to put it into someone so badly. So I got something that, uh, that happened to expand Windhelm and it wasn't mods at all. It was simply- Jesus Christ, this looks so much bigger. What the hell? Yeah, it's expanded Windhelm. It's just made it so much bigger. It's connected stuff much more, uh, fluidly. Wow. God, this definitely wasn't a mod. I hired construction workers to do this. Look, they've added random stalls. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll glow. Wow, this courtyard looks so much neater than the original one. It doesn't matter how many times I use console com- I mean my- my shouts to make the weather nice. It always goes back to being crappy. What about around here? Did it only really expand the courtyard? No, man, man, this is, this is, this is, look at that blood splatter. Oh, there's definitely not someone being murdered up there. 
And then this brings us down to the graveyard. Yeah. God. This actually is really nice. This feels much, 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 much more like a city. Even look behind the stalls here. It's just bigger. Oh, yeah. And they've added in some new places for you to go and stuff like that as well, which is super cool. Wow. This looks like the perfect place to use the Vampire's Weaver to slaughter the uh, local um, populace. Honestly, you thought I was here to analyze the mod? Not one bit, bro. This is where we. This is why we've come here. To to take to take power in this beautiful sword, which keeps putting my gauntlets in my head. Why are my gauntlets in my head? Do you want to go with me, Mister? Oh, blacksmith. No, you're gonna die now. Yes. No, you're not because you're invincible. Never mind. It's great. The only people I can fight in the Windhelm city are the guards. You know, I can pretend like this is the arena that was pulled from the game. This is probably the closest I'll ever get to it. I decided to give up. There's blood everywhere. There's absolutely no way I'll die jumping off of here. Dragonborn! Oh. 